Ganglions are fluid-filled sacs that develop on a joint or a tendon, quite commonly seen in the foot. This particular patient coming up has had an aspiration, this is actually a second aspiration of quite a large lesion on the lateral aspect of her left foot. Always get prepared. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of gauze because there's always a little bit of fluid. Yeah. What, one of the reasons it's <laughs> gunk, gunk is a nice word, one of the reasons why it's nice to actually drain these yeah. is it also shows you what comes off. Oh yeah. So interestingly, the last one of these I did didn't come with ganglionic fluid at all. It came with something different and um, that's unusual because nine times out of ten you can look at these and go, that's a ganglion. This is just a little bit of savlon just to kind of keep it nice and clean. Yep. So while I kind of like to remove the, the fluid because it's kind of nice to do, while it makes it more comfortable, because that's really, that's quite a size, isn't it? Quite it a is. size in the yeah. shoe, really. Yeah, that's, that's what I think the problem is. Pain and everything is. I'm just going to move, that, against just gonna move that camera around just to kind of Go show yeah. really just the, the size of it. The so really. Of it, yeah. I mean, it's got its own postcode, isn't it? <laughs> or zip it's code? Unusual, is it? Well, it's a decent size. It's a decent it's size. It's a decent size. Now, yeah. let's just move the camera off to one jaunty angle. So, now we're just going to give it a wee scratch. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, so, yes. so, this is what we're looking for when we're seeing ganglionic fluid. Yeah. And we want it to look like that. this because that's when we kind of go, yep, yeah, that's absolutely ganglionic fluid. Yep. So it's coming off a joint or a tendon. Yeah. It's a full one, isn't it? If I'm in any, any doubt, I can send that off to the lab. Yeah. And they look at all this yik mm -hmm. under a microscope. Yeah. But that's super obvious. And that's... That for me diagnostically says that's absolutely a ganglion. That's Hooray! A ganglion. Good. Now yeah. on a good day, you'll actually you'll get the odd patient where that sack. Yeah. Um, wow! Look at all that chucky. That's proper, isn't it? That that sack will actually close down, but normally they they don't. Now interesting. Can I take my own phone of course you can, chucky. <laughs> yeah, of me or the or the foot. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that good looking, really. It's, so that's really gone from an outie to an innie. Yes. So we've got in oh, terms yes. of in terms of tissues, we've got a couple of tendons come round there. Yeah. So it could be coming off the tendon, or it could be coming off. There's a joint there as well, and we'll only really know when we go in. So you're going to get a photo as well. Okay, Why yeah. not? <laughs> Thanks for that little video. So we'll put it on YouTube. We'll make you anonymous. So I'm not going to say your name. I'm just going to move that camera around again, just to kind of show wow. just sort of how much yik has kind of come out of that. Now then, this 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 towel, okay, yeah, yeah. I need it washed and ironed and back for Friday, all right? <laughs> so after I've turned the camera off, I've re-prepped the skin, I've put a sterile dressing in place for two days just to get that small hole to close over, but I've listed her for surgery in 2023 while aspiration usually fails, it's still got a diagnostic value as I hope I've demonstrated from the video.